Why I love working remotely? Working remotely can offer you so many benefits to achieve a dream lifestyle. And here I will share some of what I found as the top benefits on my remote working journey, which I started a few months ago. Overall, working remotely is totally worth it, and this is why. You have the freedom to work from wherever you want. Being a remote worker means you are in the driver's seat when it comes to your work environment and preferences, of course. You can work from wherever you're the most productive, whether that's a cafe, a co-working space, or at home at your desk. If going to the same place every day, it gets boring, so you can mix up your environment with new and excited places to get work done. Unless your job requires set hours, you can also do your work when you're most productive. You might start early in the morning and use the middle of the day to exercise, meet with friends for lunch or take a yoga class. So when you're a digital nomad, you can work when and where you're productive and recharge easily. Design the lifestyle you want. Getting to choose where and when you work is part of an even larger benefit of working remotely. The freedom to design your lifestyle on your terms. Sometimes it's easy to feel like external forces are shaping your life, but as a digital nomad, you get to take ownership over major life choices, like where you live and how you spend your days. With a flexible work schedule, you can make time to indulge in hobbies that interest you and volunteer for causes you support. You can make travel a regular part of your life instead of saving it for a few short weeks of holiday per year. No more stressful commutes and traffic jams. If you sat in traffic on the way to work or squeezed into crowded subways during rush hour, you know that commuting to and from work can be stressful. When you work remotely, you will never have to commute again. Never again do you have to feel like a sardine in the subway or get angry at traffic. According to various studies, commuting can be a serious drain on your well-being. It cuts into time you could spend engaged in healthy activities. So if you say goodbye to your commute, you could be happier and healthier as a result. Improve your eating and exercise habits. As a remote worker, working from home, you can cook more meals rather than eating out. Focusing on healthier ingredient options, controlling your portions and calorie intake, and learning how to make food which really works for your body. When you eat out, you are giving someone else control over what you eat and they may sacrifice the healthiness and quality of ingredients in order to make their food taste good and be cheaper to produce. When you cook for yourself at home, you can make your own choices such as organic or other high quality ingredients and not including empty calories or unhealthy stuff like sugar, but oils and white flour. When it comes to exercise and physical fitness, when you're working from home, nobody's there to judge you if you take a five minute yoga break or work while exercising. You have more control over your posture while working and you can fill your workspace with different exercise equipment for whenever you feel like you need a break. If you get sweaty and need a change of clothes, that's super easy to organize from your own place. If carefully design a routine for eating healthy and combining exercise while working from home, I'm sure you will find that the results are much better than if you were in an office all the time and eating out every day. You can focus more. For a lot of us, being in the office can be a distraction and having to constantly interact with other people can destroy our focus. If this sounds like you, then you will probably love working remotely in the spaces that you choose. There is no obligation to talk to anyone and you're free to be in the space you need to be to get your work done. Wherever this is, 
in the moment. Overall, I'm sure once you start working remotely, you will see that the possibilities of your potential lifestyle will open up. If you avoid bad habits and focus on creating new, exciting routines, your life will not be boring and you can explore new feelings of freedom and health. Today, I'm gonna share with you the difficulties I had to face when started working online as a remote worker. So when you start working uh, remotely, you imagine a hammock on the beach and a cocktail while you're working. But reality sometimes it's a little different. These are some of the things that I had to face when start working from my laptop. Living and working in the same space can be hard. Unless you can leave home to go to a coffee shop or a core working space, working from home can mean it can be tough to separate work from your regular life. So you need both to relax and work in the same space, which blurs the line. It's easy to start mixing these two, not knowing when to sit and work hard and not knowing when to switch off and enjoy. But it's best to find a way to balance this. So if your schedule allows it, go outside somewhere before you start. Get some fresh air, maybe walk your dog, get some vegetables. Just get out and get some exercise so that you are ready to work when you get back and you're not just sitting there in your pajamas. Try to have a dedicated workspace where you can get work done in your house. It's best if it's a separate room, but even a separate area where you can sit will do. Try to avoid working from bed if possible. Also have different lighting. When you're working, it should be bright and afterwards try more atmospheric light or candlelight. Don't forget to get out and about at the end of the day. Finish your work and close the laptop and get out and see the world before you return to relax for the evening. Setting these boundaries helps you and your body, of course, know when it's time to focus and when it's time to relax. Loneliness and lack of human interaction. In the vacuum of remote working, no one can hear you cry. Remote working can sometimes lead to feelings of isolation and affect your mental health. Since remote workers do not have access to a daily interaction with other people, they will probably feel lonely sometimes. I would suggest to try to include breaks for socializing in your schedule if you can, and maybe working a few hours and then spending an hour or two doing something social outside of your home, like lunch with a friend, can help you feel less lonely and then you can go back to work. Also, try working at coffee shops or co-working spaces if your job allows it. So you will feel at least you're a part of society and can even make new friends. Even if you don't talk to anyone, just seeing people and feeling their energy can help you feel less isolated. And last but not least, be more intentional about joining local groups of like-minded people with whom you can enjoy activities such as yoga, hiking or even drinking a nice glass of wine after a long day work. Couchsurfing is a good website to find people like this. And it's not about staying in the people's houses. You can use it to meet people locally to wherever you are. Overeating. Uh, one of the most common issues that I experienced is the easy access to my kitchen and refrigerator. Having constant access to food often leads to overeating and unhealthy weight gain. Here are a few things you can do to avoid this dilemma. Develop an eating schedule and plan your meal times and make portions for your meals and snacks. Avoid just eating just because you're bored or stressed, but instead practice healthy relaxation techniques such as meditation or deep breathing before you reach for the fridge. Drink plenty of water, as when you're dehydrated, sometimes hunger can be mistaken for thirst. Sprouting water also can have a filling effect. Always fill your fridge with healthy food for when you're working, like vegetables and fruits, and avoid processed foods. You might also consider intermittent fasting and following a plan to count calories 
But even if you don't take these more advanced measures, just being mindful and eating good stuff can go a long way. Fear of losing internet. You need to be online all the time or else you're not doing your job. And I have to admit that fear of internet stability is real and nothing can make you more nervous than an internet outage while you're work online. By far the biggest challenge is being able to rely on a stable and fast internet connection to get stuff done. So make sure that you have a backup plan such as a mobile hotspot device or on your cell phone. A backup computer also could save you in case your PC is broken and if all else fails, be willing to go somewhere else with your laptop to access Wi-Fi. Having a backup plan in place before an outage is important to avoid moments which can be really stressful when you're letting people at work down. So Nomas, remember that despite the challenges, remote working is very rewarding. If you can handle these issues, you will enjoy privileges such as flexibility, working from anywhere, freedom to travel, and maybe if you manage it correctly, you will have more time for a life outside of work. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a great day.